Hello everyone, this is Yuki. Um, I'm coming to you. I know it's been a week or so. Anyway, my friends just left and I gained like six pounds of probably water weight. I think by the end of the week, I should be back to normal. Literally 129 all the way to like 35 point something. So that's not very good, but it'll take me about a week and a half maybe to recover. Um, tomorrow's my actual birthday and I might be going out again with some friends that I met from school recently. I don't know. I gotta recover from today because we went to a Chinese buffet and I had a but unlimited amount of sushi and ice cream and it was just great. So now that I'm almost to my goal weight, I'm like not even freaking out. Like before I used to freak out about this kind of stuff and now I'm just like, oh, it'll be gone in a week. I'll be back to normal. My stomach's really bloated right now, really extended. Kind of hurts a little bit. But not really. But anyways, I finally, after weeks of searching, I finally, finally, finally found circle lenses. Um, that really, really seemed to suit me. Um, I ordered it from a little website. And apparently, it's going to take about, um, a month. Almost a month. Three weeks, but they can take up to ten days for processing. Um, so that kind of sucks. And then I ordered my lashes, finally found the lashes and the bottom lashes. Those were really cheap because I'm not ordering like, um, what do people usually get? They usually get Winky. It's a, it's called Winky something. And, um, those, uh, lashes are like $18 and you only get like four of them. And that's pretty ridiculous. Um, cause I'm more like into the natural, uh, style of Gadu. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. I used to say it right, but for some reason I'm saying it wrong. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys what my collection is like now and what I have left to get. Okay, so this is my makeup bag. I keep my brushes in here. This is my makeup bag. Um, so far, um, um, how do I say this? Okay, so... Um, I'm trying to think right now. Okay, so I have some lashes that I got for a dollar just to practice with. And, um, they're from e.l.f. And I really don't know why it's not focusing. But usually it does, so. I think it took a picture. That's not what I wanted to do. So I got some from e.l.f. Yeah, okay, now it's focusing. I got these from e.l.f. They're more of like the natural type lashes. Um, These ones are ridiculous. I put mascara on them and I found out you're not supposed to do that. But whatever. This is my first time. And they held for a long time, so that's really nice. These were just to practice. Um, I've already had this set. A lot of, I guess, people say you should get, like, a non-shimmery set. But I got this for Claire for, like, under $10. And as you can see, it has, like, light colors, dark colors. It has every color I would need. And I recently scraped it by accident. But, like, I'm going to buy individual colors. Because what I find is that it, I see some people, they use, like, one color that's all out. And I really like this set. So I don't want that to happen. And I've always had this physician's formula. I've had this for years. I know you shouldn't do that, but I have gold in my skin, so yeah. Um, I've been collecting eyeliners because I'm trying to get better at it. So here is my collection of eyeliners. I have a liquid one, which I don't like. My friend just gave me this one yesterday, which has a, uh, like a paintbrush on it, and I find it a little bit easier to use it's from Wet n Wild. This is gel liner, which is supposed to be like the hardest, and I'm going to really try to do that, see what happens. And then this is like charcoal, kind of. This one's really cool. It's good for the bottom on top. It really thick and defines it. And this is like your standard pencil, and I use it for my eyebrows as well. Um, then I got an eyebrow definer. I know it's really not my colors. This is all they had, but I noticed that in ghetto style, the girls have like eyebrows that are not their natural color, and it doesn't even like match their hair either. So I figure... That, how do I do this without looking stupid? So I figured that um, it should get dark enough 
to where it doesn't look kind of weird. Um, I finally got around to getting some of these. So you take these and you take the gold colors, the like the white, and you put this in the crease of the the um, the tear duct. There we go, and it shows up really good. Um, I finally got my foundation for oily skin for Estee Lauder Double Wear. I absolutely love this. This is the most expensive foundation that I own. Um, it came with like a special and some other stuff with it, so I thought I should get it. And I want to try um, some. I want to at least get three more foundations. Um, I'm not a fan of bare minerals. I have a bare mineral matte, and that's what they gave me a Sephora. And I was like in a rush, so I took it. It it's okay, but because the medicine like makes your skin dry out, and this I find this a little bit more forgiving. So the double wear, the woman put it on my face and it melted into it and it covered up my uh, acne marks without her even doing anything to it. So that was so amazing. Absolutely, absolutely love this. It says it wears for 16 hours. I put on my, um, my mattifying primer and I did not get oily for about six hours, which is a stretch for me because usually I get like oily minute I put on like 30 minutes after I put on makeup I'm like shining through so that was great and I wore it for exactly 15 hours supposed to be 15 hour coverage exactly 15 hours and I got oily in the middle and I patted it down and then I stayed matte but I used like a cheap um I didn't I used like a cheap powder to absorb it and stuff so it wasn't that good I'm sure if I used um the Sephora brand which I used to set it it would be much better but as soon as I would set it it would look um absolutely gorgeous on my skin it would look like I just put on makeup again even though you would not know that the I have been wearing this for 11 12 15 hours so absolutely love it so far um I sometimes use this, um, it's like a cheap brand, no more blemishes. It's semi-matte, which makes your face dewy, but my face skin is oily, so whatever. And I finally got around to getting, uh, lip, what is this, um, ooh, I can't think right now. Uh, it says it's lipstick, but luxurious lipstick. It's not lipstick, it's lip gloss, sorry. Finally got to lip gloss. I used to have a lot of lip glosses, but I threw them out because I would never use them. And then when I found out that's all they do in ghetto, I like started crying. This is a foundation. It's from a special lady. She like makes it locally in my area called EB Cosmetic Cosmetics. I absolutely love this. Gives your skin a flawless shimmery glow. And I'm running out. It's a little bit expensive. It was as expensive as my double wear. Now, this is the bare mineral matte, which is okay. Um, but it's bare minerals and I have never gotten along that well. So I'm be trying Sephora brand has a matte one and a lot of people say that's good for oily skin. People who have, um, acne, which is amazing because I wish I had a lady thought like bare minerals was like heaven. And I wish I had done research and found out that the Sephora brand had a lot of really good reviews. Sorry, it's getting a little bit hot in my room. <clears throat> okay. Um, so this is my powder foundation, which I don't really care for. So, so far, this one is the best. Bare Minerals, okay. I prefer this better, even though it doesn't, you can't really do a full coverage on this. This one is more pigmented, but this costs more. But the finish on this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I'm almost out. I had this since 2010. And this lady's makeup is wonderful. EB Cosmetics. Love it, love it, love it. It gives your face a shimmery, healthy glow. And it doesn't tell you, it doesn't say anything about matting or saying anything special. But it's like 35 for this, I think. And you can get it on her website, which I don't have the information right now. But it, it mattifies the face. And I, it's, it's just beautiful. It does everything I wish Bare Minerals would do, but doesn't. The only thing that it has is not as pigmented as this. So you have to use a little bit more. And it's harder to do full coverage. But you can do medium. You can do full coverage on this. But it's not as pigmented. But the finish on this is 100 times better than the Bare Mineral Matte. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I will be buying another from her. And I tried mixing them together. But it didn't, like, Bare Minerals does not like to play with other makeup, so whatever. Um, and then I use the Sephora Mattifying to set my makeup, which is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And Wet n Wild does not make these anymore, but these are the mineral blushes, and they last you forever. 
the pigmentation is amazing on these blushes and I use them all the time and this is almost out but these aren't so amazing they look kind of similar but as you can see they're they're different colors <laughs> amazing 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 they do not make these anymore so I use them sparingly I love them they show up beautiful on my dark skin okay for what's left um, this is contouring powder from e.l.f. It shows up okay, but I just bought the sleek contouring powder. The blush doesn't show up that well. You can see this. Um, I know when you do ghetto style, you're supposed to do contouring. I will show you the problem with contouring my nose. Most people have a straight nose, so when they contour straight down, it's very dark. But unfortunately... I have a hump here. I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can't really see it. You, can, you can't see it if I'm turned sideways. It looks kind of straight a little bit. But if you see head on, you see that dark spot here. This is an extra bone in my skin. I gotta try to keep this short. Um, this is an extra bone that I was born with. So I breathe out of my mouth and the doctors put a tube up here and it would not fit. So eventually, I'm going to have to have corrective surgery to fix this because as I get older, Please notice, it gets worse. your phone's battery is overheated. It talks to me. So when you contour straight down, the contour line goes around my hump and then goes straight. It only emphasizes it. So I have to contour here, here, and just here. If I contour around this bump, it goes around it and it only emphasizes that I have a hump in my nose. So I found a guy and he shows you how to contour. And so I posted one of my um, Gadu, like my trials on like this website. And it goes like, contour your nose more. And I'm like thinking, if I contour my nose more, all you'll see is a big circle here. So I have to find a way. I ordered the sleek contouring kit just now. So I should be getting that maybe in a week or so. I'm not sure. I'm really excited. I got it in medium. I've seen a lot of girls my skin tone. They order the medium or dark. And I have gold undertones in the dark one. I was afraid it would be like too dark. And I'm hoping the medium will show up really good. Um, then I got... Oops, sorry. That was really a lot. Then I got this. I love e.l.f. As you guys might can notice this. This is the mattifying powder because I didn't have any pressed powder because I threw one out. But actually, and I don't know how that happened. When it comes with a sponge, which I never really use the sponges, but I haven't used this yet. So, um, this translucent is supposed to mattify. We'll see what happened with that. Um, then I bought some e.l.f. blushes. These are the blushes that I bought. I want their studio, uh, not their studio. They have a more expensive blush. It's like a, comes out in a pump. It looks just like the Makeup Forever NARS, just like that. Um, because I'm dark and I have to use a lot of this, and it sh shows up very subtly, but for Gedu, you need to be able to see that blush. So I prefer to use these because they're more pigmented and you can really see the color. And before Gedu, I'd always been a blush girl. I realized that now. I always used to use a lot of blush. And these only show up like more natural. So I don't like them, and I bought three of them, and it was three dollars each, so it's six dollars whatever this is much better I know it looks dirty because I used a brush in it by accident and I didn't clean it but I use your finger this is like a cream blush and it's by Maybelline and when you put it on it looks like completely ghetto style you can really see the color it pops out so I will use this on my cheeks and I'll use this to brush back like a con and sometimes I use this for highlighting um what I like to use for highlighting, this is really cool. This is going to last me forever. I got to end this video soon. It's not going to let me do over 15 minutes. Is the e.l.f. Illumin. It's a, the shimmering whip. You can actually use it to highlight your nose and stuff. Not like your cheeks. That would be retarded because it's liquid based. And you need like a dab that is so microscopically small. And I use this to highlight my nose and all the way down. And it stays on all night even through like dancing and stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff. One moment. 